Hey there guys, what is up? My name is Zephyr. Right, no need to skip ahead. I'm gonna get right into it. You wanna know how you can make the more score? Then I'm here to show you it. Let's get started. There's a few key places that you should know. One is the rest town. The other is Venworth. And the other is Melf. If you don't know how to get to the rest town, you need to go to Venworth. Venworth, I, I, I don't know how you say it. And then you wanna go to the West Oxcott station and take that Oxcott right there. That'll take you straight to the West Town checkpoint. Over here, you will find a guy like this. He's got a green backpack. He looks like a lizard or cat. I don't know. He looks weird. Pretty sure it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. So, yeah, over here you'll find him. If you don't find him, you can rest here for a few nights. You know, just keep resting until he does appear. Like, rest for like two, three days. He should appear. When he does appear, if you trade him, you can sell apples to him for a much higher price. Now, the reason why you can sell apples to him at a much higher price, it's not a glitch or anything. The deal is, this guy belongs in a desert, right? He like For the story of the game, he like he walks around in a the desert. They can't really grow fruits or anything like that, like grapes, fruits, apples and stuff, where he lives and where he comes from. So, that's why to him, an apple was rarer than it is to us so now what we need to do is go get some apples so we need to head to melv i shouldn't have to say it but i'm gonna anyway if you want to get to melv you need to take the northern ox cart station the one that i'm standing right in front of also just in case you guys are wondering if you do want to create the character that i created the video is up on my channel right and once you've arrived in melv you want to head right outside the inn which is right here next to this bench and across the street is the only shop that is in this town go over there and speak to the shopkeeper you want to buy as many apples as you can and grapes once you've bought the amount he is all sold out now what we need to do is go outside rest on this bench you need to wait until it's morning again so now it's night it's still night and now it's morning if you go back to the shopkeeper you'll see that he has restocked buy them all again and repeat this process only repeat this process four times buy his stock around four times once you've done that you need to go inside here speak to the innkeeper and deposit your apples all the apples and all the grapes that you've just bought the reason why you're doing this is the innkeeper acts as a fridge once you give it to him they won't rotten or they won't become ripe now granted it isn't bad if they become ripe that individual will still buy it for more expensive than it is and actually i think it might even be more expensive if i remember correctly so now all you gotta do is stock up on some apples. So I'll see you when I'm done. And after you've gone through hell and you finally make it back here. Jesus Christ, man, the things I had to kill. You can now sell all the apples that you've stocked up on. Head upstairs to the inn and withdraw all the apples that you've stocked up on. And grapes. Do not forget the grapes. And even if it's ripe, like, still sell it. It will still sell for something. So I know I don't have any ripe apples here, but usually they'll sell for like 350 as well. So 350 for one apple that you only bought for like 50 G, 50 gold. That's like seven times what you bought it for now i don't need too much gold and i don't really want to abuse the game too much honestly i'm mainly doing this just so i can change my appearance a lot whatever you decide to do and however much you want to abuse this go for it it's all up to you and however you want to play this game you play this game the way you want to play it but there you go i just made like 12 grand or something in like five to ten minutes but yeah if you did enjoy this quick guide you know what to do show the love show the support until next time guys i'll see you guys later on my channel you will find a few other character builds get how to make gandalf Lara croft and a few others if that interests you also this is the first draft Dragon's Dogma game that I've ever played and I don't know what this is there was this creature it was like a I don't know how to explain it a horse eagle looking big giant thing that came flapped in I was fighting this giant werewolf looking thing and it just came from the sky and it joined the battle as well so now I have to do with two bosses and if you want to see how that encounter went on that's also on my channel but I, I don't know what that is I don't know how to kill it it also kidnapped me at one point so yeah I don't want to ever see that thing again if you guys know how to kill that thing do let me know but yeah that's it for me